You pack your bags, you head out the door. You know you won't see your home, your friends, your family for at least six months. It's all part of the job for those in the military, but knowing that doesn't always make it easier. Roland Smith has more on that as he joins us with the latest in his special report on our San Diego troops in Croatia. Marty and Jill, uh, for many of the members of the Fleet Hospital Zagreb, this is their first overseas assignment. It's an exciting time. They're in a new country, learning to deal with new challenges. But they are also learning to deal with one of the biggest challenges facing anyone in the military. There are 250 American troops based at Camp Plesso and hundreds more from other countries. Despite that, every one of these people is somehow alone. Everywhere they look, there are signs that they are far from home, far from family and friends. That, that's the worst part of it, just that I miss my wife. We're best friends and it, it's just hard being away from her, but with these people here, you get, you get a lot of gratification. Lieutenant Brian Clement was a civilian nurse who joined the Navy three years ago. This is his first deployment. This is why I'm in the Navy. I mean, this is part of my job, you know, and I think that's what makes it different. And at this hospital, just as with the military in general, women now share the workload, and they also share the loneliness. I don't think she realizes that I'm going to be gone for six months. Leading Petty Officer Noriko Stern leaves behind a husband and a four-year-old daughter. It's hard. The maternal instincts come out quite frequently. Probably the hardest part about being in the military is the separation. When these Navy men and women walk down these long corridors, it may remind them of the separation, the distance they are from their loved ones. And in their quiet time, in these hooches, letters home help ease the loneliness. I got three letters from her yesterday, and man, I tell you, it's, it's really great. When communication is so rare, it can also make the relationship more special. Last time I was uh, separated from my daughter for a long period of time, we communicated back and forth. She still has all those letters uh, in her little treasure chest. Mm -hmm. uh, I suspect she'll keep that most of her life. But as those on deployment can tell you, few words can truly express what's in the heart. Perhaps Lieutenant Clement said it best when we asked if he had anything he wanted to say to his wife. Well, sweetheart, I just want to let you know I love you. A lot. Yeah. That's, that's the hardest part. At least, with every passing day, the men and women of Fleet Hospital Zagreb know they are one step closer to coming home. Of course, we can't forget that deployments can be just as tough on those left at home. Just ask Norika Stern, the one you saw in the story. Her husband is in the Navy and has been on assignment deployment several times. She says he's always found it easier to be the one leaving than the one staying behind. 